This guy had lost over 250 pounds with such a diet. This is Nicocado Avocado and many of you already know this guy due to his extreme lifestyle. Just to put things into perspective, this is the guy who can eat a room worth of fast food or half ton of chips. According to him, he managed to lose 250 pounds with a mixture of avocado and rice. But before we get amazed by his fat loss program, let's analyze it first. Let's consider the positive effects of avocado. Thanks to its high fat and fiber content is not only delicious but also filling. It supports digestion, healthy heart function and eye and skin health and contains good fats that reduce bad cholesterol levels like LDL. Now let's talk about rice. It's rich in vitamins E and B, contains a lot of calcium, zinc and folic acid. Rice is a great detoxifier, helps clean the intestines and is an effective solution for various digestive issues. Both of these foods are healthy and can help you to lose weight. Of course, but before you get started on the Nicocado Avocado program, quick disclaimer. You also need to know the fundamental of the fat loss is calorie deficit, which means that you need to burn more than you consume. Technically, you could lose weight by only eating Oreo cookies. But here comes the most important thing. When dieting, goal should be to lose fat, not just weight. If you don't eat enough protein, you will end up losing weight from muscles. So basically you would lose muscles instead of fats. So for a balanced weight loss diet, I recommend you to include the following foods. As for proteins, include eggs, meat, especially red meat, fish, liver. Liver is also important, not in huge quantities, but like twice a week or three times a week because it's high in iron, which is very important for your muscles and for your body to function properly. Cheese, it can be cottage cheese as well, and natural yogurt, so dairy products should be included as well. And carbohydrates, quinoa, millet, buckwheat, burger, whole grain pasta and whole grain bread. So you can also diet on pasta and bread, but of course you have to reduce the uh, quantity. So you cannot just have a big bowl of bread or uh, pasta and just eat as much as you want. Of course you have to measure it, but these foods can also be added during your diet. It can be surprising for a few people. Salads, vegetables and fruits. Even though if you don't like salads and vegetables, you have to include them. You have to choose at least one or two and you have to include it into your diet because they are very, very important as well. Okay, and so for fats, olive oil, coconut oil, peanut butter and nuts. As for nuts, it can be peanuts, it can be cashew nuts, almonds, whatever you like, but you have to include these ones as well. So you have to add fats to your fat loss diet. As for rice and avocado, as I mentioned before, they are healthy as well. You can add those ones as well, but because they are low in protein, you cannot rely only on those two foods your diet is gonna be very unbalanced. So I don't recommend you to follow the diets that you see online, like the egg diet, soup diet, fruit diet, because they are all bullshit. And never rely on the scares alone. Consult with a specialist, go to a coach, that can help you in your fitness journey. If you are ready to transform your body, and if you need my help, you can reach out to me on my website or through my contact information that you can find here. I would also like to hear about you. What kind of diet have you tried? Which kind of success have you had with that diet? Until the next video, peace out.